Hello girls and boys, how's it going? Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard the news of Safe Super Intelligence Inc. SSI picking up an investment of over a billion dollars. This happened a couple of days back. Now for context, OpenAI is the company that makes ChatGPT. Elias Sutskever was the co-founder and the chief scientist at OpenAI until he moved out of OpenAI a couple of months back when the whole Sam Altman saga happened. Elia has founded Safe Super Intelligence Inc. SSI. In this video, we break down this news and help you understand a couple of things. Number one, why the hell does this news matter to you so much if you are in the DevOps, cloud, software engineering space at all? Number two, what opportunities does it unlock for you in the next couple of years. And then we talk about the most important part that is how do you prepare yourself for this AI onslaught that is about to happen. And I've broken down that section into four parts because the answer to that section varies on your number of years of experience. So I've kind of loosely divided it into 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and then 15 plus. So if you're new here, my name is Savinder Puri and I've been working for 20 plus years in the DevOps cloud software engineering space, having worked across India, UK, Europe, South Africa and the US. I'm currently Associate VP, SRE, DevSecOps and AI with a leading system integrator. You can connect with me on LinkedIn to know more about my credentials. So strap on your seatbelts and let's get started. Elia's new company, SSI, focuses on building AI systems that are safe and aligned with human values. What does that mean? Here is a short clip from Elia giving an interview a couple of months back. Listen to it very carefully on what he says. But still, if you extrapolate this kind of progress, you'll be in a very, very different place in five years. It doesn't seem at all implausible that we will have computers, data centers that are much smarter than people. And by smarter, I don't mean just have more memory or have more knowledge, but I also have, mean have deeper insight into the same subjects that we people are studying and looking into. It means learn even faster than people. If such very, very intelligent, super intelligent data centers are built, being built at all, we want those data centers to hold warm and positive feelings towards people, towards humanity. Because those, this is going to be non-human life in a sense. So looks like Alia is building something that he found missing in OpenAI. And that is one of the key reasons why he decided to move out of that company. The safety and the responsibility of AI. How things go on from here, how SSI shapes itself, we will only know in the next six months to one year. But let's come to the more important point. Why does this news of SSI raising an investment of over a billion dollars, why does that matter to you as a software engineer? Now the accepted truth is that if you want to spot patterns, if you want to see where the software engineering industry in general is headed, you check where the investment is going on. And wherever the investment is happening these days, that's going to be the next trend because that's where the money is going. If you've been reading up the news, you will see that there is a lot of money being pumping in into AI. However, there are some subtle differences in this investment which is happening now. What's the difference? Unlike in the past for the crypto boom or the whole decentralized boom, that was done by money coming in from VCs, the venture capitalist, the people who want to make the money. This time around, the investment is coming in from big tech companies. Microsoft is investing, Amazon is investing, Nvidia is investing to make chips. You've heard of Meta committing to buying so many billion dollars of hardware from Nvidia. So this time the investment is coming not from financial investors who say, hey, here is a hundred dollars, make it a thousand and give it back to me. This investment is strategically coming from technology companies. What does that mean? 
that means that they are in not in a lot of rush as compared to a venture capitalist to get the ROI. That means the money is here to stay for a long term. That means AI is here to stay for a long term. That means now is a good time to start learning and building with AI. That is why this news is so critical for you to understand. Now, one key observation in this whole saga. Now, you've heard of SSI. Let me take you to SSI web page and it'll shock the living wits out of you. I can promise that. This is how the SSI web page looks like. How the heck can I web page this simple generate that shitload of money? And the company is barely three months old. No clients, no products, probably not even a single line of code written. Why is then the money being thrown so much? Because it's not about the product that they are building, the space they are in, the sexy website that they've designed. The money is for none of that. The money is being bet on Ilya. The money is being bet on Ilya's network and what he and his team could potentially do in the future. Although the investment is a billion dollars, although the investment is a billion dollars, the evaluation of SSI is around five billion dollars. The investment is on brand Ilya, which takes me back to what I am very, very passionate about, building your own personal brand. You might not be the person looking in for the next investment to your startup. You might not even be building a startup, but you could be looking for your next job. You could be looking for the next career pivot. You could be looking for your next freelancing gig. You could be looking to make a shitload of money staying in a job. All of this matters on your brand presence. That's why I talk about and I'm so passionate about the idea of building a personal brand and learning in public, building in public. Now I've made a dedicated video on how you can start today to start building your personal brand by learning in public. I'll pin it in the comments below and you can have a look. Now let's talk about what opportunities do we see unlocking in the next couple of years in the AI space. So there are four ways to approach AI today in 2024. I'll explain all these four and then you identify in which one you're in and then basis of that you will follow a different roadmap. So let's go through one by one. The first one and the smallest number of people and the highest number of expertise is called the creator. Now these are the guys who are researching and building AI models. Now, these are the people who've got the PhDs, the deep learning experts, stuff like that. Probably based in the Bangalore's or the Silicon Valleys of the world. Obviously, you do not get to this stage by doing a three-month Python course. A quick test to see if you are in a creator mode. If you're watching this video, you're definitely not a creator. Number two, a slightly bigger area is the adapter. So you're not building the AI models, but you understand the technology in great depth and how it actually works. You're probably a deep learning expert or a data scientist, and you've now pivoted to AI use cases, but you were doing this work even before ChatGPT came in about a year. You're probably a deep learning expert or a data scientist who has now recently pivoted to AI use cases, but you've been doing this work for a long time. A quick test, if you've been working for a couple of years with things like a TensorFlow, a PyTorch, a Keras, other deep learning modules, then you are an adopter. The third one, which is the biggest size of the pie, is the consumer. So you understand the product or the consumer use cases and you are experimenting with AI models which have been created. You're experimenting with AI services from the hyperscaler, the Azure, the AWS, the Googles of the world. You understand the capability and the limitation of different AI models and you're probably experimenting a lot with your own business case from your organization or from the customer. That's a consumer. A quick test. If you've been breathing and living AWS Bedrock or OpenAI or Google AI Studio for the last couple of months, you are a consumer. If you're using ChatGPT, you are a pre-consumer. 
you not become a consumer yet chat gpt is not equal to ai and the fourth bracket which is probably as big as a consumer is the wanderer you're looking at all of this and saying what the f is going on you're watching youtube video after youtube video trying to piece the puzzle together every time a devin or a cursor comes along you get shit scared a quick test if you've started using chat gpt and the free version and you think you are rocking it at the top of ai you are a one if you're not clear go back and watch the last a minute or so and figure out where you are i can bet you the tussle is going to be between a consumer and a wanderer make the shift from a wanderer to become a consumer and then make the mental shift and then watch the rest of the video now a caveat the next part of the video is a generic road map right it's about 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 and so on years of experience now look at it as a road map and tweak it to your expertise i'll be mentioning some things in each of these area brackets for example if you are in the 0 to 3 area but you're already doing all of the stuff that i mention then move to 5 to 10 already even if you don't have that on youtube without knowing you without knowing your strengths and your weaknesses i can only give you a generic road map take this road map make a table of your current strengths weaknesses what areas you want to focus on what's your career ambition which organization are you working in how supportive they are how much how much ai pocs are happening there put all of these variables on that and then generate your own road map i hope that makes sense don't take this road map at face value apply your own context let's get into it so 0 to 5 years ai as you can imagine is artificial intelligence it is the way to simulate a machine to mimic what a human intelligence would do that's today tomorrow it could be beating human intelligence but today ai is artificial intelligence if you are in 0 to 5 years i would strongly argue and i'll make a strong statement here stop worrying the fuck about ai worry about i first worry about intelligence first because once you develop your intelligence once you understand the product the services how software engineering works then you can start pivoting and start thinking about artificial intelligence focus on the basics and develop a good engineering mindset in the first couple of years learn how to debug learn how to solve a problem learn how to get shit done Watch this amazing clip by Barack Obama where he talks about exactly this part. Just learn how to get stuff done. <laughs> But what I'm always looking for is no matter how small the problem or how big it is, somebody who says, "Let me take care of that." In your current organization, your goal is to be the best goddamn engineer in your team. You should be able to work independently given a problem statement without any help, without any guidance. You should be the go-to person in your team. Learn about an area, learn about what you're assigned and then learn about what others are doing in your team. Ask them to explain the stuff to you, get some work done, get it checked, fix an issue, resolve a defect, debug a config issue, the works. In the AI context, if there are some AI initiatives going on in your organization, volunteer to become a part of it learn the context of your organization and what is happening in ai and volunteer and participate in that a quick test to figure out if you've passed this stage are you the go to person in your team do people come to you for fixing things do you get the hardest problem to solve now let's go on to the next one the 5 to 10 years experience now this is the most important phase of your career because if you've not had a good first phase the 0 to 5 years this is the time to fix it if you've not had a mentor if you've not had the chance to work on good technology stack if you've been stuck in a support role or not to good technology some legacy stuff now's the time to fix it if you've had a good first couple of years you found good mentors uh, you found good people to work with then this is the time to extrapolate your career and build the foundation for that how do you do that this is the time mentally when you move from fixing things to creating solutions 
but a solution will only come when you know how to fix the individual pieces that's when the jigsaw puzzle will come together and a solution will be formed at about 5 to 10 years experience you should try and participate in architectural design discussions happening in your company go to an architect the one that you like the one that has appreciated your work and say hey i want to be a participant in the architectural discussion can you please invite me into the next meeting i might not have an input but i just want to learn how you guys discuss it high chances they will let you in once in the meeting understand observe and every once in a while ask some intelligent questions they will appreciate you on the ai side start leading some ai initiatives in your organization given that you understand your own solution your own workflow of your product or your service explore how you can use ai to leverage one or more parts of it lead some of the teams to ai solutions on the cloud use amazon bedrock open ai any of these experiment with some use cases in your daily work see how you can infuse a couple of elements of artificial intelligence a quick check to see if you are past this stage are you currently working on one or two ai pocs in your organization on a personal level have you started using cursor editor on your personal laptop to code i'm just taking cursor as an example it could replace it by the latest shiniest sexiest tool are you on the bleeding edge of technologies and using it not just watching youtube gyan about it are you using it in your day to day life if not at the office but for your own personal work next one 10 to 15 years of experience Now this is the time when you've moved from creating solutions to selling solutions. Now selling does not mean you know externally to customers it also means selling internally within the organization because at this stage at 10 to 15 years stage selling is a very very important on the AI side keep an eye on the latest happenings in AI which are related to the work that you do contextualize it to your internal and external customers and see which solution makes sense do you have to build something do you have to buy something can you use some saas versions out there can you use some products or services available out there within your use cases a quick check on if you've passed this stage or not how many ai pocs are you currently leading in your organization now the next one 15 plus experience at this point you should know enough about what is happening in the area of ai in general and you should also know about in depth about a couple of use cases which are applied to your context you should have a view of large language models small language models what is happening in the world overall and you should be able to take what's happening in the world and be able to apply it to your business unit to your organization and to create a vision for your organization are you able to craft a compelling ai vision for your business unit for your organization are you able to sell that vision to your leadership team are you able to sell that vision to your customers over 15 years things get complicated because now you're not expected to go ahead and set up an llm you are expected to figure out where to use what solution and how do you derive business benefit from these solution right so the role the lens is different you need a much wider knowledge depth you can get it from the juniors working in the team but you need to answer the why the how you can get it done from the team hope this makes sense and i have created some dedicated videos on how to keep yourself continuously updated with all the technology that is going on uh, i have created videos on how not to get scared about ai i will pin all of these these will pop up on your screen but let me know what you think about these thoughts put it in the comments and then let's get started